Finding employment can be tough, so we've enlisted the help of Nancy White from Sheridan College's Community Employment Services to help us with one of the most challenging parts of job seeking, and that's cover letters. What I think people miss is that they start writing about themselves. They start writing about how they're excited to be working for the company, and that's great, but the employer that's reading this just wants the facts. Just give me the facts so they can check off that you have what they need. And it also showcases your writing skills too. And um, But one of the things that I do teach in my workshops is to make sure that you identify how you fit within the company. Do a little research. You know, maybe show them that you work for their competitor. Uh, maybe you have uh, read their mission statement and you, those words resonate with you. Say that in the cover letter because if, if uh, trust me, you'll be the only one that will have said that and showing that you do have a connection with them. And keep it one page. Um, you know, there are people say, people say, you know what, uh, recruiters don't read cover letters. They don't read lousy ones. They read good ones. So write a good one. And one of the biggest issues that Nancy comes across with job seekers is that they're having a lot of stress with making multiple cover letters when one cover letter for multiple jobs would simply do the trick. Once you have designed your cover letter, keep using the same ones as templates. You're applying to the same jobs anyways, so you just keep cross-referencing over to the job posting, tweak it a bit in your cover letter. The action of sending out your documents should not be laborious. You should have all your documents prepared in terms of your resume, your cover letter, um, your references. Get all those documents prepared so when you are ready to launch your job search, you're, you, it's just a matter of going back to your documents. And one last thing to keep in mind is that if you're going to be sending your cover letter as an email, you might want to think about bundling it up with your resume all in one document. If you're going to transport it as an email, then you want to make sure that it's as one document. Um, don't put your cover letter in the body of the email and then attach your resume. Put your cover letter in your resume as one document, one attachment. Now that means you've got to write a little bit of a statement in your email, the body of the email, which is say, please see attached cover letter and resume for accounting position. Thank you. That's it. And now if you would like more information about Sheridan College's Community Employment Services and Nancy's Job Seeker Seminars, check out www.ces.com dot sheridancollege.ca or call 905-845-9430 extension 8160 and keep in mind these seminars are absolutely free thanks to funding from the provincial government reporting for halton insider i'm pierce lang